Helping Eli by Xin Yuan Yu. In the majestic Atlantic Ocean, there lives a joyful little sea turtle, Eli. Eli lives with his sister and his father in the Sea Flower Park. He loves to climb to the beach and collect seashells. He loves to play hide and seek among coral reefs with his sister Elena. He also loves to hunt shrimp and jellyfish for dinner. One day, Eli and Elena went to search for food together. Elena sighted a moon jellyfish immediately. "Hey, Eli, look what I found!" said Elena. Elena clamped down her jaws on the jellyfish. But soon, Elena started choking. <coughs> it wasn't a moon jellyfish; it was a clear plastic bag. "Elena!" Eli shouted. Eli swam straight and fast to Elena. He pulled the plastic bag from Elena's throat with his mouth. Jeez, it looks so much like a jellyfish. It almost killed me. Elena grumbled. Let's bury this thing so that it won't hurt others. Eli suggested. The next day, a baby sea turtle got trapped inside another plastic bag. That's it. I have to do something to protect Sea Flower Park," said Eli. He asked a herd of seahorses for help, but they didn't know how. Sorry, kiddo. He encountered a school of angelfishes, but they didn't know how. He found a pod of dolphins, but they didn't know how. Eli groaned. Is there nobody who can help me? While Eli was feeling vexed, a giant octopus came up to Eli. Hey, kid, Bill the clam might be able to help you out. He's the oldest and wisest animal in the entire Atlantic Ocean. Thank you for the information," said Eli. There he went to find the old and wise Bill the clam. Sir. Do you know how to get rid of plastic pollution in our ocean? My family and friends are being harmed by it," asked Eli. "Well, I'm glad you came to me, kid. A fishing vessel sails through this water every other day. The sailors own giant nets. They can help you and your families," Bill the clam said. "Good luck," said Bill the clam. "Thank you very much, sir," said Eli. So Eli paddled and swam. He patiently waited for the fishing vessel to sail by. Finally, Eli heard a sound of propellers spinning. Whir, whir, whir! Aha! It must be the fishing vessel coming. Eli thought. Eli surfaced to see the vessel. Hey there, my name's Eli. My home, Sea Flower Park, is being harmed by plastic pollution. Would you be able to help us get rid of the plastics? Eli begged. Hi, Eli. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, let me see what we can do for you. Please lead the way to your home, and we'll follow closely behind you. One of the sailors kindly responded. Eli led the fishing vessel to the Sea Flower Park. The fishing crew threw out their nets, and they dragged all the garbage out from the from that area. Animals at the Sea Flower Park cheered for Eli and the fishing crew. "Hooray!" they shouted. "Thank you for doing this. You saved our lives," said Eli. The fishing vessel sailed away. Well, Sea Flower Park has recovered for now, but what about other parts of the ocean? Fun facts about sea turtles. One, sea turtles are not social animals. They usually are by themselves and rarely interact with one another. Two, they think jellyfish are delicious, but they might mistake plastic bags for food, like Elena. Three. They can hold their breath for five hours underwater. Four, 
There are seven different species of sea turtles. One of the species, the flatback, lives only in Australia. Five, sea turtles can live up to 50 years or more. Plastic pollution solutions. Number one, reduce use of single-use plastic products. Duh, use reuse. Use reusable shopping bags instead of plastic bags. Use paper straws instead of plastic straws. Number two, recycling. Check with adults at home or the local department for ways to recycle plastics. Number three, beach cleanup. Plan a beach or neighborhood trash pickup with your friends this weekend. Can you think of any ways to reduce plastic pollution in our ocean?